got today is a PT Cruiser. <coughs> Customers complain is that when they come to a traffic light, AC doesn't cool as well as normal, and the vehicle starts to shake. Gone ahead and diagnosed it. Uh, the problem is actually with the radiator fan assembly. It's uh, a one fan, however, it's got two speeds built internally into the motor, and one of those speeds is defective. That pretty much explains the uh, no cooling when I have a traffic light because you have no airflow across the condenser because the fan's not working, as well as the engine shaking because there's now an excessive load on the engine because the pressures in the AC system is timing and having the way to come down. Some of the complaints you might also get is that the, uh, they may hear a pop sound as well as a little bit of smoke. That's actually the blow off valve on the compressor momentarily opening up due to the pressure to get too high. What I'm going to do is show you step by step on how to replace the fan assembly. What we're going to go ahead and do is release the, uh, remove the four seven millimeter screws holding the front grill on. Grab a corner and you're going to push down. Next item we're going to do is take the weather strip off. And then you've got three 10 millimeter bolts here, three 10 millimeter bolts here, along with two 13 and another 10. What I did to help with uh, removal, I went ahead and drained a little bit of the coolant out. Uh, make sure that the radiator is cool before you open the cap up so you don't cause any harm to yourself getting burned. Once I've drained a little bit out and take the hose off, and now I'm going to have room to actually drain the fan assembly up. The fan assembly is held on by a total of six bolts two along the top, two along the bottom one on both sides. Uh, once you get those loose, there's a connector underneath. Uh, I'll show you that shortly. And then the fan assembly will actually lift out of the vehicle. The new one will go right down in place. And then you can see everything's just reversal and removal. Right here I'm actually showing you from underneath where the connector for the fan assembly is. Um, there's one of the bolts and there's a second one that's along the bottom. As for reference, here's a lower radiator hose, so you'll know exactly where they are. Uh, like I said, take these two out, and there's one midway on the left, midway on the right. Uh, take those loose. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and pull it out. All the bolts are loose, connectors unhooked. Then just push forward on the radiator, grab it, start working your way up. There we go. Uh, like I was saying, Two bolts across the top, two on the bottom, one on each side, and of course your connector right here. The three wire motor, like I was saying, they share ground, but then there's two speeds internally. And it's got one speed that's burnt up, and that's what's causing the problem. The placement's going to be identical, drop it down in there, bolt it back up, put the radiator support, grill, and go ahead and top off your coolant. Appreciate you watching. If you got any more questions or like any other videos, let me know and uh, stay tuned for more.